Years ago, fishing and farming was a way of life for most everyone in Newfoundland and Labrador. Most everyone fished, and most everyone had a garden. The Cape Shore was often called the home of the fish. Fishing is still an important industry, especially since the Grand Banks are not too far away. Arnold Foley of St. Brides is a crew member on a longliner and also has his own boat, which he uses for the fall inshore fishery. Well, I just got the one boat now. I fish on another boat, the Night Stalker now. Uh, we fish, I'm a crew member on her, we fish offshore all summer. And then I got the little one that came in there today. And uh, that's only a, kind of an inshore thing for the file. Just something mostly to file back on, I suppose, for the, maybe later on in life, whatever. You know, you, right. get, two, you, get, you get too old for the Grand Banks, so. well. When it comes to the farming part of the picture, he remembers well what it was like when he was a kid. It was a hat to do. You had, you had to do it as a kind of survive, I suppose, or you, it was just a, a tradition. You had to have your own vegetables. And it wasn't something that we used to like to do then. We were forced to do it, and it wasn't, uh, wasn't much fun. Like, every, everyone, had, well, everyone had their own horses and cows. Everyone had that. It was like it was a part of life. But when Arnold got older, he found that he still liked the idea of growing his own vegetables. So with lots of land around, he grew any amount of vegetables and found that people in the area were willing to buy them. I always had, I always liked, I always had my own vegetables, and I always liked kind of. It got to be a hobby, and the hobby got a little too big. I got, I got kind of out of hand, I suppose. And I, I, in around, like I say, in around Conception Bay, I, I was always looking. Everyone had their gardens. Everyone was selling them, so it didn't seem like it was a job to. And there was so much gardens in there, and so little people, but still they sold them. So I said, like, we have a big population out here, and we have lots of land, and I, when I kind of didn't have a fair idea of how to, how to go about it, and. I just started last year and I sat, uh, I think it was 40 sacks of potatoes and four or 5,000 heads of cabbage and turnip and carrot and they were gone as fast as I could go take them out of the ground, they were gone. But Arnold has a problem. His problem is time, or lack of it. Time is the big thing with the, with the, with the farm. I mean, you need regards to looking after them. Like the, they got to be sprayed, they got to be, uh, the weeds got to be, got to be took out of them. They got to be, you know, the, the, you got to be used to tractor on them all summer. Uh, you need time to be to be with them. Like, uh, to just to set them and walk away from them, you're not going to have nothing, nothing, nothing to go back to. So that's why you need you really need someone there all the time. Having someone there all the time basically means there's an opportunity to develop several jobs in the area. HRDC has already helped with the youth training program, but like most things in present-day Newfoundland, labor is a concern. I'm sure there's lots of people that'd be interested in this. Like, especially when they get to know like, uh, how to run it. And it's a great thing if you're home around. It's a job. Like, you can make your own work if you really put your mind to it. There's lots of ways you can, you know, of making a dollar if you really want to put your mind to it. And I mean, this, just to take the vegetables up and go inside the road, is, I'll show you, I mean, the goal is fast you can take them out to pick up. It will convert you into a, a, a good many jobs. Like, uh, I'm sure there's lots of people here. I mean, Alberta's a long ways away. You know, they, they don't want to be up there. No, 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 I don't want to be up there. But, uh, and this is hard work too, it's not easy, you know, you, it's hard work, but it's at least your home. And it's, it's good, you know, it's good, clean work. And we'll give the last word to Arnold's daughter, Victoria, who helps with the weeding and the roadside market. What do customers say about their fresh vegetables? They just like, they say how nice, like, big and cassaf the cabbages and how nice the potatoes are. 